So thinking about the pelvis, if you think about your stomach and the hip points, we think about that as the entrance to the pelvis. If you think about the exit of the pelvis, that's the pelvic floor. The pelvic floor is really made up of muscles, ligaments, um, and connective tissue that connects all those structures, but they're the things that kind of hold things up and in. <laughs> So we're going to talk a little bit now that we know what the pelvic floor is, how we can work on that during pregnancy. A lot of people are familiar with the term probably Kegels, so pelvic floor exercises. And these absolutely can be done at any point during pregnancy. And the reason we would do that is because we want to make sure that we have nice strong pelvic floors that have good endurance and good coordination. And you would go ahead and try to hold those muscles and squeeze them like you're trying to stop the flow of urine or stop gas from coming out for about six to eight seconds and do eight to 10 repetitions and try to do that three times a day, three times a week. So it's really common for women to have a little bit of a tear in the perineum. The perineum is the tissue between the base of the vagina and the anal opening. But some of those tears can get quite large where they actually involve the anal sphincter, which is the muscle that surrounds the anus. That's what we call advanced perineal trauma, and perineal massage is one of the ways that we can try to prevent that from happening. You can actually start this about four weeks before your due date, and you just go ahead and you take a finger, and you're just gonna sweep that finger back and forth from three o'clock to nine o'clock along the vaginal opening every day for a couple minutes. During pregnancy, we're often thinking about how to squeeze our pelvic floor and keep things in. However, during delivery, it's gonna be really important for all these muscles here to relax, particularly, obviously, for vaginal childbirth. And so being able to relax that pelvic floor and make sure it's not too tight is also really important. Anything where our knees are coming up, so think about a deep squat or knees to chest, it's gonna help the pelvic floor to stay relaxed, which is then obviously gonna help with baby progressing down into the birth canal and help with getting ready for actual delivery. If we make sure that while we're pushing that there is some breath coming out, like a then these muscles are less likely to tighten up on us and they can relax and they can lengthen and utilize all that practice that you did before you went into labor to have that help. Most women, um, they will have vaginal childbirth where the baby has to pass through this basket of muscles. And so you can imagine these muscles have to stretch quite far in order to allow a baby to pass through. As the body recovers, we naturally have a little bit of a tightening of the ligaments and the connective tissue. Now, sometimes that doesn't you know, completely um, go back to where it was before, and that's certainly where we can get involved and help. From a physical therapy standpoint, again, you can start your Kegels. You want to try to do them at least 30 reps per day, up to 60. That's kind of what's been shown to be needed in order to see changes to get those muscles stronger again. So if you feel like you don't understand what you're doing, you're not sure if you're doing it correctly, if you're actually having physical symptoms like urinary incontinence or bowel, accidental bowel leakage, pain, um, those are excellent times to think about seeking consultation with a pelvic floor physical therapist.